It's a multi-million dollar business. Two Asian brothers and moms came together with a concept, raised money from the families, and the family, to have this business done. Okay? So that's how, as an example of one person, okay? I invest in businesses. I invest in startups. And for me, I will not invest in someone who doesn't have experience. I will not invest in someone who I think it's risk. Because I don't want to throw money away. At the end of the day, why would I want to throw money away? I only invest in businesses where I feel like there's opportunity to make money. So I invested in Mexican restaurants in Sacramento. When my friend came to me and said, hey, I need some cash, would you put in my half my business? I looked at his books. I saw they were making money. I said, yes, I will invest in money. That investment has paid off in three years. Okay. So I made about 33% return on my money, which is huge. So it's already paid off in three years. Okay. So that's how I invest. Okay. So the moral of the story is no one's going to lend you money unless they're friends and family, or unless you have the skills or the experience, the idea to put it together. Okay. I have a friend. His name is Mark Lepe. He's the premier entrepreneur in Silicon Valley, that we know. From Oxnard, California. His parents are farm workers. He uh, graduated from Stanford, went to work at Google early on. He left Google to start a company. He started a tech company called Awala. He spent six years of his life developing this company. He sold it for $500 million. Sold it for $500 million. He started another company called WiseLine. And after that, I, as an investor, said, how can I get in? How can I invest in your company? Because he had success. He had the pedigree. He had the you know, experience. And I know he'll make money. That's where if you really want to get an investment from someone, you got to go out and prove yourself. Right? Whatever it is, you got to prove yourself. You know, if it's cutting lawns, a barista. I have another example of a friend who went to Berkeley. And maybe you guys know this company. Uh, you guys have heard of Tierra Mia yeah. Cafe? Yeah. Ulises Romero is the owner of that company. Ulises Romero went to Cal. He graduated in 1998 or so. Young guy. From Berkeley, eventually he went to Stanford Business School. Eventually, he went to work for big companies like Goldman Sachs. But his dream was always to be a, a, an owner of Pax Aids. So he left the $200,000 job to go be a barista at Starbucks because he knew what he wanted to do. And that was going to take him to a new life, to a new venture. He became a barista making 12, 15 bucks an hour, $12 an hour. He did that for two and a half years, or two years. From there, he bought his first location. And now I think he's up to 15 locations, right? So it takes risk, investment, experience. And the reason why he left his high paying job is because he had this vision that he wanted to do his goal. And the only way someone would invest in him without having practical experience was to get the experience, right? So I gave you three examples of people who got funding from individuals, but the only way to get there is to prove yourself. Right. Is that clear? Clear? Okay. Um, uh, career advancement. Who asked that question? Okay. What is the question? So, I'm, again, I'm in a really fortunate position. And so, as a recruiter, again, I've been doing this for almost three years now. Um, I've been having a lot of different companies that reach out to other companies. And so right now I have like an offer on the table, but I don't know if it's going to be the right move. It's a startup um, doing recruiting for autonomous vehicles, but for an actual company that's building the vehicle itself. Um, the compensation is, is uh, 175,000 days of stocks and then a 50k sign up bonus. Like, is that something I should pursue or like, should I stay with the video given this growth and its impact on the industry? Or how Raise of hands. Should you pursue it? Only three people think you should? Four? Five? What's it depend on? It depends on how much you're on. 
Okay, successful. Can go with the company? What else? Uh, yes. Yes. So he's a contractor. He doesn't work for the company. He's just a contractor. It's a new one just because you're going to in it. So if they blow up, you can change. Okay. Who else is sending pens? Go ahead. <laughs> so there's one thing that I think is hard sometimes. Like, for example, our upbringing, my upbringing, our parents always want something secure, right? I don't know about show of hands. Your parents are like, Mijo, are you sure you're going to work for that company or you want to stay working at this other company? I've never heard of Facebook before. Why would, I, why would you leave the best company in the world to work for? Why would you leave Google to take on a risk? Why? Right? That's the guidance of your parents. Don't do it. You put your family at risk. Don't do it. But I did it. It paid off. If I would have done it, I would still be working or someone else, right? Our parents say, go be a teacher. 